Earlier this week, the University of Kent was visited by Liam Burns, NUS president, who came to give a guest lecture on the Pounds in Your Pocket survey. The survey looks at the financial problems that students are facing all the time. The Pounds in Your Pocket research started back in autumn 2011, and it was about trying to say we do lots and lots to talk about how the institution is funded, but actually NUS have done nothing particularly coherent on how students themselves are funded. I was really grateful to be invited to come and speak here at Kent today. Um, what the, disc the, the presentation I gave was all about student financial support and I think the biggest challenge in the sector is over the next 10 years is going to be about how much money the students have in their pockets. Now the, real, the debate for the movement is a really difficult one is that uh, we should rightly campaign to get more money from government. What you spend on someone's loans and grants is a really powerful form of preventative spending in terms of keeping people in education. Um, but look, we're in a difficult time where getting commitments from parties on any form of expenditure whatsoever is really difficult. And so maybe a more trickier debate for the movement is, do we campaign for the in-envelope changes that can make a demonstrable difference to the right students? Because we know some particular students are getting hit really hard by the current system. There's a real problem of parity of esteem um, that comes from government spending so much on higher education and so little on further education. and. Uh, the reason I say that is some of our conclusions, what I'm about to come on to is our conclusions from this. One of the really hard debates we had at our national conference was whether or not the conclusion to all this is we say government just need to give us lots more money, or you accept that there's a fiscal envelope that's not likely to get bigger following the next general election. And so do we then talk about in-envelope changes? If we know there are some students that are hit harder, what do we do then to make it better for the students that need it most? As well as talking to Liam, we managed to grab a chat with Colin Maguire, who will be leaving his post at Kent Union in July to take up his new position as VP for Welfare at the National Union of Students. I think um, what's really clear is that when we're talking about the work that we do in the student movement, we can't have an approach that relies purely on NUS doing work at the top because the decisions happen at a local level. So what we really have to do is equip our student unions around the country to, to make that change and I think that Kent has really benefited, benefited from that actually even though last year um, the result we got was, was, was bad um, and we were really unhappy with the access agreement but we did actually make, you know, we managed to make our point quite clearly about how we felt about it and so we've had discussions again this year about the access agreement going forward and they, they're looking a lot more positive actually um, and we'll be getting results on that like in the next few weeks um, as we kind of conclude the work on it. So I do think it's about, um, you know, the, the great thing about the plans in your pocket now is that we have research right there in black and white that tells us that it's an issue, um, whereas before it's been about arguing anecdotally a lot. Um, so it's, it's a very useful campaigning tool for us. Uh, at our national conference in Sheffield, uh, just last month we elected Tony Pierce as our next um, national president. Uh, she's currently the vice president for further education. She came from Cornwall College. Um, she is exceptional. Um, uh, completely formidable in terms of her um, her politics and her drive to try and get the best for the students that need her help the most. Um, she's not uh, been to university, she came from a college background and I think that is going to do something really special for NUS when we talk about instead of always focusing on undergraduate young students on campus, trying to look at the range of other learners that we should be working to support as well. So I think she'll be excellent. Awesome. Uh, Lastly, I was thinking, as uh, NUS presidents, we get, well, as like, students, a part of the union which is affiliated to NUS, we get our student discounts and uh, NUS cards. Do uh, you all get the student discounts as well, or are you left with uh, slightly more expensive things? Uh, so I've got an NUS extra card. Um, I buy it through uh, my old students' union so that they get the, uh, the money back for it. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I... I You'd be a bit of a fool not to have the discount card when you're running the organisation.